So upgrade database in OCI now is much easier with a new cloud native service that we have called OCI Golden Gate. This is a cloud native means, meaning that it's fully managed by Oracle. So you simply click on a deployment button and this will be installed by Oracle, will be upgraded by Oracle, will be patched by Oracle, so you don't need to care about anything, okay? You also have an scale option in this tool, meaning you can start with just one OCPU per hour in this tool, and it can scale up to three times the number of OCPUs you initially allocated. Meaning if you have an extra demand in your production databases that you are migrating or upgrading using OCI Golden Gate, it will scale up automatically for you. And it's a very attractive pricing. Why it's very attractive pricing? So usually I don't like to do some market or sales stuff in the sessions, but this one really deserves attention because the old Golden Gate pricing model, not the old, the traditional model is you pay the license for your target and source databases. And this became expensive uh, for most customers, especially if you need OGG only to do a uh, one-time upgrade or migration. With this service, you don't pay for the target database. You pay for the usage on the Oracle Cloud Golden Gate native solution, okay? So you only pay for OCPU hours of the solution, not for what you're moving. Can you use it to move uh, data from on-premises to on-premises? Yes, you can. Actually, the way it works, uh, is pretty general. All you need is to have a database with integrated extracts, so you don't need to install any client, Golden Gate client in the source database or on the target because the integrated extract and the integrated replicate are part of database dictionary, okay? So if you are in an Event 204 onwards database, all you need to do is connect on this database using this service through SQLnet, and that's it. Let's say a small demo of this feature working. So I press play here. So how we deploy it, we click in the hamburger icon on the golden data option. Then we create a deployment. We give it a name. Officially, we give also a description. Select a compartment, the number of OCPUs we have initially, if enable or disable auto scaling, and the licensing type. Then you define an instance name, a username, and a password. And you click, you need to click create. Now you wait a bit until this uh, compute that instance. After it's created, you click in launch console, and it, it will provide you a link. So you open that link. And there you are in the Oracle Golden Gate administration server. So you type the user and the password you provided during the deployment, and that's it. That's the main panel where you have all the databases where you can add a new database, where you can check the events and so forth. Auto scaling. So uh, this still comes with auto scaling options, just like we have for autonomous database meaning when you turn on, it can go up to three times the number of OCPUs uh, you initially allocated for it. So imagine you have a database that's being uh, migrated using this OCI uh, Golden Gate solution. And uh, during a peak time of the day, you have three times more data being generated by your source database. So with this, uh, with this option enabled, this OCPU will auto scale up to three times to handle this extra workload and will roll back to the normal utilization after it finishes. And as it's a per second billing, this means that you will only pay for that 10 minutes that you use it with more OCPUs. You don't pay for the full hour, just for the duration that you use the more OCPUs. What is the recommended size for this tool? We usually recommend you with, to start with one OCPU and enable the outscaling. If you notice that your uh, OCI Golden Gate keeps allocating three OCPUs, that's, then it's time to move to four OCPUs with auto scale. With four OCPUs, it's going to be able to cover most of the cases. It can cover up to 60 gigabytes per hour 
of redo generation in your source database. And if you want extremely, extremely scale and performance, then go with eight CPUs, because with eight OCPUs, you can scale up to 24 OCPUs during the out scale process. Can we use this to move on-premises to on-premises database? So as I said before, technically you can because all you need is a SQL net connection to that database from the tool. So all you need is firewall rules and the listener port where this tool can achieve. However, we usually don't recommend it mainly because of latency and throughput. So imagine you have a 100, 100 megabits connection uh, from your, uh, your data center with Oracle Cloud. With 100 megabits, you can do up to 12 megabytes per second. If you have a database that's processing more data than that, then this means that uh, this will fall behind and you will never be able to catch up in your target database. <laughs> 